Now we're ready for comma rule number one. So, comma rule number one is that a comma, this is one of those joining functions of punctuation, a comma can join two independent clauses that are separated by a coordinating conjunction. Now, in order to understand this, we have to know, we've already talked about independent clauses. This isn't a subordinate and an independent, this is two Mr. Clauses working together side by side. To know what a coordinating conjunction is, we're just going to memorize them, and I can guarantee you guys that this will be a quiz question. So the coordinating conjunctions are, do you guys want to tell me what they are? For, getting you started. But. And, we're doing them in order. And, but, or. Nor. <laughs> nor. <laughs> Does anybody ever use nor? Um, Occasionally, it's kind of archaic, but it is still used from yeah. time to time. Um, now we're to bud. Or yet. And so. And the reason we do it in this order is because these make an acronym. Fanboys. Okay? So, let's just practice that a couple of times. And if you're watching this video, just practice with us. Close your eyes so you can't see the board. Just remember that it's fan voice. No, all the way. Don't just squint. Close your eyes. For and nor but or yet so. Great. Now let's do it faster. For and nor but or yet so. Good. Okay, so you understand completely that in your first quiz, you'll have to be able to write down from memory all of the fanboys, right? Yes. Which are also called coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions. Great. Okay. So, now that we know what an independent clause is, and now that we know what a coordinating conjunction is, applying this rule is simple. Martha likes chicken. Then we apply our comma, then we apply a fanboys, but you guys have something you want to end this with? It has to have a subject and a verb and express a complete thought. Her mom cooks it too much. But her mom cooks it too much. Hmm. That wasn't it. That's okay. That's a great <laughs> sentence. Okay, so subject, verb, uh, subject, verb, and you see, okay, so a common student error when the people are first applying this rule is to get the comma after the coordinating, oh yes, after the coordinating conjunction, but no, 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 we don't do that. Another common error is every time someone sees a coordinating conjunction, they automatically put a comma in it. But please notice we only put a comma before the coordinating conjunction if this is a clause, an independent clause. That's the only time. For a dependent, we would put no comma. See, if, if this were to end, but, but not fish, No, no yeah, comma, see. right? See. Right. Okay, very good. Oops. Period. <laughs>